If you think the alternator is not charging, there are a couple of very easy low-tech ways to do it. I'll show you both of them. First, we're going to start with this volt ohmmeter right here. You're going to need a good battery, and you want to hook up your leads to the battery, like so. And then we're going to turn the volt ohmmeter on to the 50 scale, and we can see the voltage in the battery circuit reading right, right at 12 volts. And then we're going to start the engine. Once the alternator starts spinning, that volt ohmmeter should read 14 to 15 volts. Now you can see that rating right between 10 and 20. That's 15 volts exactly, so that means it's working good. The other low-tech way to check, to take a screwdriver tip, place the tip right close to the center of the alternator, and magnetic force should pull the tip right into the center of the alternator, and you should be able to feel the magnetic force. I had a problem with this car. You can see the alternator on this has an internal regulator on this. I upgraded to the 130 amp alternator and I had a problem where my battery was not being charged and the alternator indicator light was not turning on. So I was very confused by it. The problem ended up being this green wire with the red stripe that needs to go into the indicator light circuit which here is black with a yellow stripe and that did not match the manual one of the things you want to look for is the battery indicator light come on Look for that indicator light to come on and then turn off once the engine starts. If the indicator light does not turn on, you've either got a bad indicator light, burned out bulb on your dash, or there's a problem with the circuitry, like the wiring. You could have a fusible link blown out, in which case you do a continuity check. Or, such as my case, I had that green wire hooked into the wrong terminal of the factory wiring harness. <laughs>